Hi there, welcome to Jujube DIY. I'm Sarah, thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm joining Lori from Lori Bly DIY to create some awesome 4th of July projects for you. I decided to do some tear tray projects, so let's get started. For our first DIY, we're gonna use these little wood cubes. Um, I think they're supposed to be dice from the Dollar Tree. I had seen them come up and I grabbed a couple of packages because I knew these were gonna be great. And in today's video, I will be using the Waverly chalk paint in white and crimson and the Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Nautical for all the projects. I had painted two of the dice blue and one in red. Then I took some sandpaper and on the dice, there's a round flat spot. And so I used some sandpaper to bring out those kind of rounded edges, as you can see there. Next, I had painted some white stars that I had in my stash for from Christmas. They were the small Dollar Tree wood stars, and I just painted them white and then used some Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral to distress them. Now, if you don't have these smaller stars in your stash, you can always order them online, probably from Amazon, or my favorite place to order wood products right now is 24 Hour Crafts. You can get them in any size um, that they, you know, they offer up multiple different sizes that you can order them in and you can purchase them there. I'm not affiliated with 24 Hour Crafts, but I just really like the products and service that I've received from them and I think their prices are great. So for the blue blocks, I'm using some red and white Baker's twine from the Dollar Tree to wrap around the middle. And then on the red block, I used a little bit of blue and white Baker's twine to wrap around that one. And that finishes this project. Easy peasy, these are super cute, stacked up or just placed side by side. I think they are adorable and I love how they turned out. For our second DIY, I am using this wood flag that I picked up from 24 Hour Crafts and I just kind of marked out uh, the areas in which I wanted to paint them. So I wanted this to look like an American flag, of course, so I did the upper corner there in blue and then I'm going to go in with red and white and paint in the stripes. I'm just using a small flat paintbrush for this, but acrylic markers would be a really great option to fill in all of the painting that you need to do. I think you have a little more control with paint markers and they give you a very similar result. Now I wanted to add some stars onto my flag. I had created this stencil a long time ago with my Cricut, but if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. You could always use stickers. You could hand paint them on. You could use other things to represent stars. It doesn't actually have to be a star. If you don't want it to be, you could put circles in there. You could put buttons. You can get really creative and make this super fun. Um, and also sometimes, Locally, you can get onto like Facebook groups and you can get people to um, make stencils and stuff like that with their own crickets and they'll charge just a small fee, you know, for materials and their time to make something like this for you. So I'm just using a makeup sponge and some white paint to transfer the stars onto my flag. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all of the kind words and well wishes uh, over the last couple of weeks while I was sick. I, it really hit me very hard. I had a hard time with my energy levels coming back up and just couldn't get into my craft room and make videos. So I appreciate your patience. Um, I just really had to take care of myself and my family and get well. And we have all recovered pretty well we've upped our vitamins to help with our energy levels and really honing in on those healthy foods and things are getting so much better and we are all feeling much better so i really do appreciate all your thoughts and prayers and all of the well wishes that you guys sent my way during the last couple of weeks so i had painted some of these wood letters from the dollar tree 
Um, and then I am going around the very outside edges with a paint pen and just doing some little dots and dashes just to add a little more uh, interest into the letters, make them stand out a little bit more. If you've been around my channel for a while, you guys know I love to do this on my projects, um, but if you don't like it, you can definitely skip this step. I had painted one of these mini uh, wood palettes, I guess they would be kind of in the Waverly chalk paint in white. And now I'm just going in with a kind of stiff dry brush and just doing a little bit of distressing with the Waverly chalk paint in mineral. I really wanted to keep all of these projects in that kind of rustic feeling. So I have pretty much distressed all of the projects and you'll see that throughout the video um, and that just helps keep everything cohesive and really sticks to the theme i was going for which was kind of country farmhouse fourth of july so i'm going to do the back of this the sides and the front just so that if you see it from the back or any of the sides it'll all look finished When I went to go place all of my elements onto my board here, I felt it was missing something. So I decided that I was going to add a little bit of Baker's twine to each of the ends. I just pulled the red and blue together, and then I'm just gonna wrap it around like four times and hot glue it to the back. And I just think that adds a little more interest and makes it look a little more finished and cute from the front. So I'm going to arrange all the items onto the board before I glue everything down just to make sure that I really like the placement of everything. And then I will just hot glue it down and here is our final product. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am partnering today with Lori Bly from Lori Bly DIY. If you've never been over to her channel, I suggest you go over, especially if you like what I do. She does a lot of really cute seasonal projects. She has that cute farmhouse flair and I just adore her projects. She is not only super talented, but she is just a sweet and wonderful lady and like I said, if you haven't gone over to her channel to check her out, definitely head over there. I'll link her video for today in my description box down below and just leave her a comment and let her know that I sent you over. For this DIY, we're going to use one of these wood block stars from the crafter square section and then a medium sized star, which came in a three pack at the Dollar Tree. I at the Dollar Tree. Um, I think it was like stars, flower, and hearts maybe together in a package that you could buy. But Walmart also carries those kinds of stars in I believe like a six pack. And then of course one of the small stars from Christmas time on the front. And again, like I said before, if you can't find any of these items, definitely go check out 24 Hour Crafts or look online at Etsy. And you can usually find um, places anymore that sell a lot of these products. And you can just purchase them online and have them sent to your house. So I painted the big star white and I'm gonna go in and distress it with the Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And I'm gonna do the front and the sides. And then I'm gonna go in and just add a little bit on the edges of the red star and just kind of do a little distressing to all of the stars here. I just used hot glue 
to attach the red star to the white star and the blue star to the red star. And now I'm gonna go in with those dots and dashes around the outside of the red star. And then I'll just add some cute little polka dots to the blue star. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but at the top there, that medium star didn't quite cover up my hole, and I was okay with that. I, you can always cover that with some spackle before you get started, but I knew I was just gonna add a little bow here at the top and cover up that hole. So I'm just using that Baker's Twine in the red and blue together to create a very simple shoelace bow, and I'm just going to glue that right over that hole and that just hides it and finishes this project. And how cute is this little stacked star? I think it turned out awesome. For this DIY, I am using this wood tag that I picked up at Michael's on clearance after uh, all the spring stuff went on clearance. So they were originally $1.99 a piece and I believe I paid 20 cents for them. I picked up a couple and I figured I could just get that X off. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be glued on or how it was attached, but I just used that scraper tool to kind of pry that X up and found out that it was uh, put together with these little metal um, staples kind of, or nails. And you just use some pliers and pull those little staples out. And that's it, that was really easy. And then I was just kind of feeling around to make sure I got them all out. And then I'm gonna use this spray bottle that I keep in my craft room with water. I'm just gonna spray water on it to help get the paper off of the tag. So I'll peel up the paper that has kind of that plastic coating on it and then spray some more water and use a scraping tool to just scrape it all up. Once I get it all scraped off, I do go in with a little bit of sandpaper just to make sure it's all smoothed out nicely and ready for paint. I had picked up this cute little rocket from 24 Hour Crafts and I painted the bottom portion of it white and now I'm gonna go in with some blue and paint the top part with the blue. So if you're interested in anything that I'm using today, I will leave all of them in my description box down below. Anything that I use, I try to always make sure that I um, list everything that I use and add links if I can. I'll add Lori's a video from today as well. And also you can find the link to my Facebook group that I host with my friend Lisa over at our gray house down there. Anybody can come over and join in the, on the fun there. We like to share our ideas and crafts and there's lots of talented people over there sharing what they're doing. So I'm also going to paint this little stick. I guess this would be the part that you would put in the ground um, or hold, I, I don't know. <laughs> we don't have those kinds of <laughs> fireworks here where I live, but um, I just painted that blue as well. Now I went in with some washi tape and I marked off some stripes diagonally. So I placed a piece of washi tape and then placed another piece of washi tape right next to it as a spacer and then placed the third piece right after that and then pulled up that middle portion. And then that middle portion is where you're gonna paint red. So you could do diagonal stripes or you could do white stripe or like horizontal stripes or vertical stripes. You can stripe it any way you want. Um, and it's just a really easy way to get some stripes with washi tape. So I'm just using a makeup sponge and dabbing that paint on in light layers until I'm happy with how opaque it is. Then once it's dry, I just pull off that wash tape and I have great stripes as you can see. Next, I'm gonna take that white paint pen and I am just adding some polka dots at the top and then to that stick as well. 
And this pink pen is one that I picked up at Michael's. I really like it. It's not quite as fine of a tip as the Posca paint pens that I've been using lately, um, but this is a good alternative. It's a little bit cheaper, although I did find out that you can actually refill the Posca paint pens, which I was um, pretty happy to find out about. So Lindsay over at the Frugal Crafter uh, did a video on that not too long ago. So I think I'm going to give it a try and see if I can refill my Posca paint pen because it ran out. Um, and I will let you guys know how that turns out once I get around to actually doing it. So this is just a rub on transfer from the Dollar Tree. It comes on a, um, a sheet that has a whole bunch of different numbers on it in different fonts, uh, font styles and sizes. So I just picked out this four and I'm just transferring it onto my tag, which I had painted white and distressed with the mineral chalk paint. And here is a look at that. I added some tumbling tower blocks to the back so that it is freestanding and perfect for a tear tray. For this DIY, we're going to use a mini rolling pin. You can pick these up at Hobby Lobby or online. And this actually was one that was gifted to me. I don't know what brand it is, but um, I know Hobby Lobby for sure carries the mini wood rolling pins. So I'm going to paint the middle part white and then the very ends I'll use the blue. And then I'll go in with the washi tape again and create some diagonal stripes to paint red. Now I'm gonna use some rub-on transfers again, and I chose the word celebrate from this word pack, and I'm just gonna rub that right on to my little rolling pin. Now you can definitely use stickers, hand letter, or use vinyl for this part of the project as well. And I'm just gonna use my fingers here, my, my fingernails, I should say, to transfer those words onto my little mini rolling pin. Now every rolling pin needs a little bow at the end, some decoration. So I'm just using some red and white Baker's twine to add some little bows right to the end of my rolling pin. And that's all there is to it. Super, super cute and very easy to create. For this DIY, I'm using a mini cutting board that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint it white and then use some washi tape to create some stripes and do blue stripes on it. And I am really sorry, <laughs> I lost the footage for this part of the project, but I can explain it to you really simply here because it's not hard, but I picked up this cutout, wood cutout of the United States, and I had originally painted it white and was gonna do white and red stripes, so I used the washi tape to create the stripes. When I put the red and white United States onto the blue and white, it did not look that great. So I decided I was just gonna go in and paint over the top of the white with the red, and I just did one layer um, over the top of everything, and it kind of created this dark and light red striping that I thought looked really great. So then on those darker stripes, I just went in and did some little white polka dots with my paint pen. Now I'm going in with the mineral chalk paint and that dry paintbrush, and I'm just adding some distressing to the front of my little cutting board. Now just using some hot glue, I'm going to attach my wood cut out of the United States to the upper portion of my mini cutting board. 
you can use wood glue if you like. I just prefer to use hot glue here. It's gonna be inside my house on a tear tray and I'm not worried about it falling off. So now I made a cute little bow out of this red, white, and blue ribbon that I picked up at the Dollar Tree in their nautical section, but I thought it was perfect for my 4th of July decor. Now I'm gonna add the letters USA at the bottom in some Scrabble tiles, and that will actually complete this project. I really love how this turned out, and I think it is perfect for my tear tray. All right, for this project, we are gonna use one of these stars from the Dollar Tree. Like I mentioned before, it was a three pack of uh, wood items. I think there was like three of each style. So it was like a star, heart, flower, and there were three of each kind in the package. And that was in the, the Crafter Square section. But again, I believe Walmart carries these stars or you can look online for star wood cutouts as well. And then I'm gonna go in with my makeup sponge and my white craft paint or chalk paint. And I'm going to use this star stencil to put stars onto my star. So one thing that I like to do to make my projects seem a little more high end is to have the pattern go off of the main piece. So as you can see on that last one that I just did, the star is kind of going off, the white star is going off of the blue star. And you'll see that I do that throughout this whole entire process. So just add stars. You can add them however you like. If you want them in some sort of a pattern, you can do that. But as you can see here, it looks great. So I did another star in red and white, and then I used one of those wood planks from the Dollar Tree I had painted it white and distressed it with the mineral chalk paint. Unfortunately, my video cut out while I was doing all of that, but this project is easy enough that I think you can understand what happened and how to create this project without that extra footage. So I decided that my stars weren't standing out quite well enough on that white wood plank so I went around the very outside edges of the stars with a little bit of a black paint marker. You could use a Sharpie here, no big deal, and just add some definition. And I think that just helps those pop off of that board a little bit more. And I'll just glue those down, just as you see here. Now I'm gonna add some tumbling tower blocks to the back. It's gonna create this kind of block uh, so that it'll stand on its own. And I just hot glue that to the back and I will paint it all white in the back so that it looks nice no matter how you look at it. And here is a look at how it finished. All right, for our final project, we are gonna use one of these plaid wood cutouts I picked up at Walmart, and I'm going to paint the main part of the truck blue. As you can see, there is a little cutout for the bumper, and I did paint that with the Waverly chalk paint in steel and then used the Waverly chalk paint in ink to paint the tires. Now I used just something small in my craft room to create the center portion. It's just a small round thing that I traced with a pencil. And then I'm gonna use that steel to fill in the hubcap basically on my truck. And I'm just using a small flat uh, paintbrush to fill that in. Again, you could use a paint marker for this um, and that would work great too. Now I had gone in with a pencil beforehand to write out USA for the door of my truck. And I'm going to go over the top of that with my paint marker. And that just makes sure that I get the letters on there, how I want them before I actually commit with paint. <laughs> Although if you do mess up, you can always go back over it with the blue paint and then try again.
So of course my cute little truck needs to have some cargo. So I chose another one of these stars from the Dollar Tree, painted it white, and then distressed it with the mineral chalk paint. Now I'm gonna hot glue it to the bed of my truck. And we're just gonna make it look like my truck is hauling the star to some sort of 4th of July celebration, I guess. And of course, I needed to add a little more color, so I took one of these small stars from Christmas time and I painted one red and one blue. So I'll just attach the red star there to the white one. And after playing around with it for a while, I decided that I wanted to add some baker's twine. So I do have some blue and red baker's twine that I just kind of wrapped around the center of that star. And I felt that that just helped make everything feel more cohesive and like it was all a, a set basically. So then I just glued that blue star down and then to finish it up, I'm gonna add some white polka dots to the blue and red star with my white paint pen. And here is a look at how our cute little truck turned out. I absolutely adore this. And I am so happy with my tear tray this year. I think it looks wonderful. It's all cohesive and has that super cute farmhouse flair that I just love. You'll have to let me know which project was your favorite from today. Also, make sure you go check out Lori's video. She also has some more 4th of July fun for you. And thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. And I will see you at the next video. Bye.